Scientists just found a human brain that has turned to glass, and we finally know how it happened. In 79 AD, when Mount Vesuvius erupted, it unleashed waves of superheated ash and rock. For one victim found within a wooden structure encased in solidified rock, archaeologists uncovered something never seen before. Fragments of glass inside the victim's skull. The nearly 2,000 year old brain was so well preserved you could actually see imprints of nerve cells underneath the microscope. But the real mystery was how does a human brain turn into a piece of glass in the first place? Vitrification, the process of turning something into glass, is incredibly difficult. It requires an extreme burst of heat to first liquefy the tissue, followed by rapid cooling before crystals can form. But the problem is, Vesuvius's pyroclastic flows only reached about 450 degrees C, which isn't hot enough to instantly liquefy a brain. Don't ask me how they know that. And it didn't cool quickly either, potentially taking months to fully solidify. So what really happened here? Scientists now believe that before the pyroclastic flows arrived, an even hotter superheated ash cloud exceeding 500 degrees Celsius engulfed Herculaneum. This intense heat charred the body and flash melted the brain, turning it into liquid. As the ash cloud rapidly dissipated, the temperature plunged back to ambient levels almost instantaneously, cooling the brain so fast it solidified into a glass before it had time to burn away. Then within the hour, lava flows buried the entire scene, locking this moment in time for nearly two millennia. This discovery gives us a shiny new perspective on one of history's most infamous eruptions, an ancient event seen through a mind that's literally been frozen in time. If you like science and mind-blowing breakthroughs, follow for more.